Because most of us, Babaji, we only talk about the birth of Krishna Ji. We just don't talk about what is just after that, which is the essence and Shakti of Ma Durga, Maya Devi who came, Durga Devi who came to support Lord Krishna. Friends, my first point is, you are not alone. When you call the higher force, your mental space, something higher comes to assist you. Whenever you lose something and you can't find it, you invoke the power of the Devi and you're going to see. You talk to her sincerely and you're going to find what you're looking for that day. Friends, the mother is very, very powerful. She knows, Maya Devi knows that Purusha, Param Brahma, the Lord is going to come. And what is going to happen? Let us listen in Mahabharata, in the Sanskrit language and Hindi as well. Maya Yoga Maya Janiranda Jaya Tatha Tritha Pratyate Sarva Vrishti Shavu Sri Krishna Sharanam Sharanam takes care of us. And I have known people who are paralyzed, who are blind, those who couldn't make it in life. By the power of Devi Mata, they all came back to health again. Never forget your Devi Ma Puja. Never forget to invite her in your homes, in your heart. Even she, a Shakti, came to exchange the Leela so that she can take the place of Krishna in the jail. But how is that going to happen, friends? Krishna ji, father and mother, they are in the jail. You can imagine what they went through, friends. No bath, no food, no clothing. Just imagine what people go through sometimes. And so, dear Krishna ji, may we not go through this. But sometimes, the Lord chooses these souls to come through because of their sacrifice. Friends, it is said something happened when the Lord was born. Tonight as he was born, let us sing his name together. Krishna ji brought happiness and light to that cell. Vishnu Bhagavan told Nanta Vasudev and his consul what they should do when he takes the form of Krishna ji Maharaj. Guru Sing the glory 
So Krishna Ji and Vasudev Ji, there's a difference between Vasudev and Vasudev. And I know plenty of leaders, they chant that this thing wrongly. Vasudev, the long arm, Vasudev is Krishna Ji, but Vasudev is the father of Krishna Ji. So there's a difference. Vasudev is Krishna Ji. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Vasudev is Krishna. But Vasudev is the father of Krishna Ji. So please note the difference between them. So Vasudev, the father, he is overstunned, he is mesmerized by this birth of this child. So sweet and so kind and so chubby, so charming and so my friends, it is said tonight, let us give him words in our heart. Huh? Krishna Gopala, Yamanda Kapala, Krishna Gopala, Friends, when Krishna Ji was born, 
all the locks in that jail was open for itself. The chains were open for itself. Everything opened automatically. That jail, that darkness, there was brightness. And I always say, satsang, let it be bright. Satsang is something bright, it is something not on daily darkness. You know, if you say you're religious and spiritual, you must shine with your smile. Don't be upset and angry and kind of talk to others. No. Spirituality means interacting with everybody, making everybody feel special. You can't say you're a Krishna devotee and yet you don't want to speak to this one and that one. No. If you're a devotee of the Lord, you have to break those barriers and be kind to everyone, friends. Easy to say. It's very difficult to do when somebody takes a position in your job. Friends, devotees, all the prison doors, the locks, the chains, they open automatically. The darkness disappeared. And so, for the first time after many, many years, Vasudev, that was bolted through an iron bar, that he was lost. I know Rishi, together with some of you who are here, you were very fortunate to go to that jail in Mathura in India. And when you go there, it's, it's a basement. And that place was exploded 11 times by a different tri tradition. And yet those iron bars, nothing happened to them. And my gosh, when you're going there and you start chanting, Oh, Namo, Bhagavate Vasudevaya and you chant and you chant you feel as though Krishnaji Maharaj is standing next to you and in front of you there is a like a table made out of uh, pure iron that is the original spot where baby Master Krishna was born and then you have to come out from there in the little loophole. While going through, you see the original bars of the irons. The iron plate is still bolted. That's the original door from many, many thousands of years ago. I mean, today you have iron steel in place for five, six years. It's rusty. You have to put paint. But this kind of iron, it seems that it, you know, is really going strong. So, friends, everything was open in that jail. And when the Lord comes into our lives, our Jeevatma cannot remain in darkness. We cannot be locked up. How many of us, we are locked up mentally? There are people who are walking free. They are not in a jail, they are not in a cell. But they are mentally in prison. Why? They cannot be happy. They cannot smile. They cannot be happy for others. There is always jealousy, greed, hatred, darkness. That is the darkness of the jail I'm speaking about tonight. My friends, don't be tied up with your Atma being struck and, and, and entangled by the material world. That should not be so. Krishna Ji wants you to lose your lace so that when that time comes, you slip out very easily. So, Vasudev Ji, now, Mother, they will she held that child and began crying. Hey, my dear, it's time. Six children came and comes, my brother, comes was her brother. He took each child and dashed them on the stone and destroyed them. Friends, she hugged a child and she said, Krishna Ji, oh my baby, please do not leave. But if you leave, leave temporarily. Please don't allow Kamsa to destroy you. And so, friends, at that point in time, Un Deno Bada Bada Varsha Hoti Rahiti Hai. Vasudev Ji came out, all the guards fell asleep, and that baby was placed in a basket. And today, all the babies are placed in a basket in India. Now, when you have six days, no? You place the baby in a. I went to Trinidad. They place the baby in a tray and they frighten the baby, you know, you meet some father and son in the six days. I see Challenge is smiling, baby just had a baby, baby boy. God bless you, Challenge. 
and congratulations to you, Sri Maji. My friends, this baby was placed in a basket in India on the six days of the Chatti and the Bharati. It's not my passenger, the man. They beat him all kind of steel drum and drink it all kind of drink. And they start the child. I saw personally, and it was the worst thing I have ever seen. And this was an insult to Sanatana Dharma. When the father and the father brother came and they took some alcohol and touched it to the baby mouth. Do you think that is real Hinduism? Not because you live like that, you have to behave like this. And therefore, please keep your baby's births very spiritual. Play bhajan softly. Friends, sing, read, chant. This is the time these children, they become a sponge and they retain everything. Baby Kanheya Ji was placed in that basket and he had to take the child from Devki, Vasudev placed the child in the basket, placed it on his head, and now he has to walk through the Yamuna River that is flowing and overflowing. He stopped now as he walked out of jail with everybody slept away through the power of Yog Maya. And friends, I tell you, when you have God with you, your car can pass through two trucks in the middle. No, don't try it. You have to have the grace of the Lord. I've seen personally my vehicle, vehicle when I was the age of 17 years in my green stretch. I, and I had a little car, small Zabuka. And I've seen the Lord perform miracles in my life. I was overtaking, and the cross was not good that time, no? And the car didn't have speed on one truck. I crossed the one, and what is coming? And friends, I don't know, the truck was about to crush me. And I just don't know how this vehicle went back on front of the other truck. It had to be the miracles of the Lord. And this is not only, I can sit tonight and tell you many, many chamatkar. Chamatkar means miracles that took place in my life in India. I'm sure you had miracles in your life. You had miracles, but sometimes our eyes are closed it because our mind is too busy coiling and fighting that we don't see what is to be seen. You know, I read something beautifully that Dr. Brian Wise, he said, he said, we are so busy, listen to what he said, Brian Wise, how many passing fights arguments and misunderstanding are we allowing to rob us of the joy of loving interaction with the people in our lives. Love transcends everything. We are so busy fighting with families and our people in our job. We forget the joy to love that we become crippled mentally. Friends, let me come back to the Katha. Vasudev, who had a divine love, now placed that basket on his head with the baby Krishna ji and is flooding. Now, how could he go across? Varsha means the rain is falling. It's falling, it's fell so much. The waves in the Yamuna. Something is about to happen, Chamatkar. The river then parted, friends, and something is going to happen, friends. The river parted, making Vasudev walk through the solid ground. He hold on to his basket and began walking, friends. He began to walk to Gokulapuri, the, the village next door to Mathura. It's about 15 minutes driving to reach Mathura to Gokula. But that time, friends, something was about to happen. What he saw really, really mesmerized him. He saw Adi Shesh. He saw Lord Vishnu in the form of Sheshna, that huge snake. Now, if you're going midnight and you see a huge snake, we see a small one and we, move, we run a mile. Let's imagine he saw a snake, Sheshna, about 50 feet high. That was huge, friends. Vasudev saw many miracles that night. 
He saw the guards fell asleep, the chains were loose, the door opened, and Lord Vishnu is about to appear as Adhishesh, the thousand head serpent. He looked at this thing and then he fainted with his child. He said, Bhagwan, what are you showing me? But he realized it was Sahastra Shirsha Pusha Sahastra Chat Sahastra Pat Sabhumi Vishwato Vitwa Atya Pishka the Shangula Pusha Ivi the Gum Servant Yet Hukam Yet Shabhamya Hukam Yetta Pashi Shana Yetna Dina Tiro Hati Eta Vana Sibahima Ato Jaya Yasya Pusha Padu Sabishwa Hukadi Ibada Sabhita Devi Pusha Hadwa In that baby form, where the hoods of Vishnu Bhagwan came as an umbrella over baby Krishna. You see, they didn't want baby Krishna to get wet in the rain, in the storm, lightning. And so, brothers and sisters, once you are in the favor of spirituality and you do the right things, the Lord is going to do many, many things for you. I just like to recap what I said, the philosophy, so far. When we are imprisoned by people, situation and maya, and our hearts are not sincere, and we are not caring, our lives are not honest, our lives are filled with negativities, you will be confined by the locks and chains of your own maya, your own soul. Maya is not in the outside, maya is in the inside, where we take everything real, unreal for real. And what is real we forget, which is the Lord. We get caught up with everybody, friends. We caught, get caught up with so many nightlife, many licentious living, which is temporary. But he who is permanent, we forget about him, which is the Lord. Bhagwan wants all a message tonight. He wants us to lose the knots and the chains and the locks and the ties and free yourselves from that confinement. Friends, you have him in your heart. He is going to lose you. He is going to remove the, the shackles of attachment. He is going to bring detachment to you. He's going to allow you to come out from yourself, from the jail of your own imprisonment. And so, all the gods and goddesses, they're looking at this same Shiv Maharaj, Shiv Bhagavan, He Brahma, they're all looking at this scene. As we listen to this beautiful bhajan from Radhita Ji, they're all looking at the scene. And so, they're looking at each other, how the Lord came as a baby, Unlimited potential, limitless energy, taking a form of a child. Just imagine. And many people say God cannot come in a form. But I can tell you, only love, love and sacred life can bring God on earth in a human form. As we see baby Krishna who has come on earth tonight. When he came on earth, Dwapar started. Traitor Yuga ended the night before. As soon as he was born, Dwapar started. And when he left, Kalyuk started. So my friends, as soon as he came, Dwapar, the age of Dwapar began. 
we listen to this beautiful pleasure as the Lord Shiva. They are all mesmerized by the birth of Sudeshaji. It is said this slok is called the eight sloki that tells the whole Bhagavat in just this few slokas. It is called the eight sloki. I remember when we read the Bhagavatam, you had to chant this, this, this verse before you begin. 
Because he wants to give blessings to Ganga the water as well. And so reaching to Gokula Puri, he saw that everybody was sleeping. What happens? Vasudev then placed Master Little Krishna on the bed of Yashoda and let us listen to what happened. Sudam Yashoda Rene Nidhama Tatha Sudam Padayate Purna Grihana Hamgata Sodena Sarvagrihe Gokula Puri Grihe Soda Grihe Puri Gokula Puri Sri Krishna Bhagavan Ki Jai Vasudev Ji then placed his son Krishna on the bed of Yashoda's while she was sleeping and took that little baby girl instead who was born the same time as Krishna. That little girl, as you know, is Shakti Devi Ma. Now, in the morning, when Yashoda was, she woke up, she saw this baby boy instead of a baby girl. Now, this boy was so handsome and chubby you know what? She didn't say nothing. She didn't mind it was a boy. Because you know, in India, a boy child is considered to be great. But these days, they say, a girl is even greater. Because boy children, today, they don't take care of their parents as much as girl children. And you see, all the ladies over shaking their head tonight. Today, boys become busy. But we have also here Rishi Ji who takes care of his mother so very nicely. So when she woke up and she saw this baby boy, she said, Wow, I was praying for this baby boy all the time and I got a baby girl, but I didn't say nothing. But I'm over happy to have this boy child. And you know what? I'm not saying nothing. I'm happy this boy came. And so my friends, both uh, Yashoda Nan Baba, husband and wife, where this child has been taken. My gosh, the festival began. The Devi was taken now in the basket to the cell, the prison. Where the, the, there's a divine exchange there, friends. You see what the Lord does? The Lord exchange things for us and we don't know. It is said, this is her creation, the Devi. She is responsible for all the accommodations of the avatar. That's the reason why. Yashoda Nanda Patnicha Janetam Paramam Dhuda In Sanskrit, she was so happy, Yashoda Ji. And friends on the other side, Vasudev went back to the prison and going inside the prison, all the doors closed again. The chains were locked up. The lock bolted him once more, friends. The little baby girl began to cry, awakening the guards. And immediately the guards went and called Kamsa, who happened to be the brother of Krishna's his mother. Look at how close the enemy is. Enemy is on a fire. Long time people used to put strangers in courts. Now they put their own family in court. Your enemy is on a fire. And sometimes they call you. And they put all kind of thing in your head. Friends, don't allow your best friends to know your strength. Otherwise, they can weaken you. You see, when somebody knows your weakness, they can spread on that and make you weaker. If you have friends and families, your strong side, your weakness, never allow your best friend to know your weakness. Because they can spread on that and take advantage of you and make you weak. Brothers and sisters, yeah. Kamsa, the, the mom of Krishna Ji, came to that jail that cell and he ran there 
and now getting the news with great excitement comes around to the prison and what happened let us listen again my dear friends Sri Krishna Oh, beloved brother, please spare my last child. She is all that I have and comes, my dear friends. Then place that child by the hair, held the child up, not by the hair, by the hand, and was about to slam that last child, that Maya baby, onto the slab of stone. And as he was about to smash that child head on the slab of stone, something happened, my dear friends. The little sister of Krishna, who is called Yoga Maya Devi, she then leaped to the heavenly spheres and she slipped out of Kamsa hands. What happened, my dear friends? Sri Krishna And so, my friends, the celestial thunderbolts came there to witness what she is about to say, what she is about to do. And so, the Devi, she said, Kim sa sayaha taya sandamandajata. 
You want to destroy me, she said. Your enemy is born somewhere else. Why kill poor? Putra Shatru Hasi Kripapan. Why defeat innocent infants unnecessarily comes? Search for the enemy inside, O Kamsa. Having said this, the Devi disappeared. And so Durga Ma, this little girl, took the form of Devi and she disappeared. My friends, at that time, Kamsa was stunned. He was mesmerized by the words. He got scared, he began to tremble. And so, he apologized to Devaki. Devaki, I'm sorry for treating you like this. And he actually loosed them from the jail, from the prison. But when he woke up next morning, he thought to himself, the child was born somewhere else, as the baby said. And you know what? He didn't change at you know? all. The baby spoke to him, appeared to him, and he didn't change at all. You know, some of us, we go Sunday morning, every Sunday in service. And when we come back home, you follow the rest. We listen to wonderful satsang. And from the time the satsang finish, we have kusan. Kusan means the opposite of satsang. I have seen in Trinidad and Gaia, yashna is taking place. And from the time the yashna, they hear jay. Fights start to break out. And these days, you read in the newspapers, they have plenty of fights. Which is smiling. In many of these places. And the fights are not with men, you know. It's ladies fighting, pulling out all the garments. So, ladies, girls, we're asking you to be sober. It is sad what I see because I have a bar next to me. My second home, and I have two bar always next to me. I don't know if the Lord always put these things for me to see. And you see them drinking and dancing and smoking and they're on the ground. And I feel sorry for these girls. Friends, you are Devi. You are the mother. <clears throat> Please do not find yourself in those places. Because you are betraying your character. Therefore, this Kamsa didn't change. He was seen at the given direction by the universal mother. The next day, he sent his best men who were strong in all the villages to defeat all the infants. And so, brothers and sisters, tonight, people, we are asking you to badal gaya in san, change your life, friends. Stop the licentious living. I went to a school sometime in the central area. You know what a little boy told me? I said, what happened to your hands, son? His hands was like this. And I realized he couldn't put his hands together. It was like this. I said, what happened? He said, my father told me to put my hand in the hot towel. And when I didn't do it, he shoved my hand for half a minute. Mr. Priest, what is it that our parents are doing to our children? I mean, when you listen to the news, that our parents are scolding the children until the children die. What kind of human being are you? Not us, eh? But there are people like that, friends. There are men who will batter their wife home until she has many scars. Wives, you learn karate. You have to stand up for yourself and defend yourself. In none of our scriptures mention that you were asked to stay at your home and take licks from your husband. No scriptures say that. And therefore, I'm sad when people call me and say, Babaji, this is what I went through. I locked up in my home. I was beaten. And you see marks all over. Friends, please, I beg you, husbands, to treat your wife like a Lakshmi. She is great Lakshmi. When she is sad, then you become Dalitra. Poverty comes to your home and everything starts going down. I'm talking about what is happening in our country, my dear friends. What are these little children seeing so that you have a nine years old boy 
somebody but not a child so seriously what is that child seeing in this home for a little child to go and beat another child my dear friends sometimes as parents we are the last one who knows what is happening in school because we don't open the child book we don't talk to the teacher and worse yet we don't go to the PTA meeting we are asking parents be a part of your child's life see the world know who they are what who are their friends what they are doing don't allow the police to come to your home and says your son we found him with a revolver in the bag please Trinidad is changing bad and if we do not go back to our mandirs and holy grounds we are going to lose our children and our children are going to become like comes who never change never change friends we need to change our life. Look at how many yajnas in this country going on per night. We have more than 55 pujas a day in this country. We have more than 180 pundits in this country. And spirituality we are diverting. Those of you who have come tonight, I am really happy you made time to come now. May Bhagawan bless you and your family. And may you live long, healthy and happy. May the Lord always be with you. He was blessed, Kamsa was blessed to see the mother, and yet, the next morning, he went back to his bad habits, friends. He went back to his bad habits. Tonight, hey Krishna Ji Maharaj, please bless our minds, bless our senses. When that, that, that Sheshna is bending down over Krishna, he is saying, take our senses and look down at the Krishna that is in our heart. Krishna Ji, please Bhagavan, help us, help our country, help the world. And we just don't know what yet to come. But if you have a prayerful mind, light your dears, go back to your prayer room, teach your children how to meditate, teach them how to be detached at times, teach them how to love God, how to be kind to others and not bully others. Friends, teach your children the right thing. Yeah, Kanhe Alal is honored. How? Hey Bhagwan, Nibhana, please fulfill your role. Krishna, it is one message tonight. Come back into the world and save us now. Please come back, O Ram. Come back any form. We need you. We need a form back on the earth. Because you know what? Years to come. We just don't know if you may need breathing mass to survive. The pollution, the war might be. But you know what? Let us be positive. Krishna Ji, you are there in our heart. Kanhiya, 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 Tujhe Nama Pahiya Tujhe Nama Pahiya
सभी प्यारी प्यारी कहीं तो दिखा अरे कामरे देख देख जरा देखा तो तुम लोग बोले सांपिंग को बोल दुनिया सुनी सुनी परी ये तेरी मारी का सुनी सुनी की एक्टिंग सुनी एक्ट्री की ही कर सुनी सुन मी सलेसी सोना मी गोल पर सुनी सुनी की एम्प्टी अलोग ये द्वारी का इस एम्प्टी विचार जो पिछला जी प्लीज अलोग बस That is a manifestation of Mother Earth. So when they had the cow disease, first I was happy. Because nobody was eating that anymore. That is Ma 13, that form of the cow matter. Have you ever seen a cow at 3 o'clock in the morning? It bows to the earth before it starts the day. It gives milk and butter. Even the cow dung, the cow bird we use, that is very holy, friends. You know, long time, today we ask for Tavij and so on. Long time, they used to take the, the cow dung and milk and go, uh, the dahi and lay these children for Manju, Najar, Badai. Today, mm -mm, no mothers want to touch that. So therefore, it says, Koi kam sabharat me paida hoi. Koi kam sabharat me paida hoi. Not one comes is walking paida hoi, but many comes as a walking. There are many comes walking in Bharat and India and throughout the world. Kapat se koi ghar bhi kali nahi, 
Kapati means the seat of hypocrisy. Hardly any homes are free from this hypocrisy. Please come again, come here and save our world. This, every night I will sing a bhajan and explain the meaning. Because the meaning of these songs are so sweet and so beautiful, so meaningful and so deep with meaning. Tonight, my dear friends, before we come to an end, I want to take the time to just to let you know, please be a caring person like Krishna Ji. Please be a caring person like Vasudev. Please be a caring person like Hanuman Ji and Sri Ram. Please be a caring and loving person like the saints and sages. Oh Lord, please bring back that care in our hearts. Parents, care for your children. Children, care for your parents. Leaders, care for your subjects. Let us care for one another, friends. Where is the care has gone? Come, said not care about anything. All that he wanted is his name, fame to live forever. He didn't even think about his sister. He continued his licentious, diabolical life. He didn't change. He had no care and love in his heart. Let us bring back that caring, loving feeling in our hearts, my dear friends. Your relationship is the most important thing. When your friends leave you, your mother and your family is going to be with you. You know, I, I pulled out a nice quotation from many years ago. In my library, I have all kinds of things stick up everywhere. But whatever falls out, I think that's the message for the day. And listen to what message follows today. Relationships are like the Taj Mahal. Everyone will wonder how beautiful it is, but no one can understand how difficult it was to build. Isn't it? I'll read it again. Relationships are just like a Taj Mahal. Everybody wonder how beautiful it is, but no one can understand how difficult it was to build. We all see people out there in life, but we just don't know how hard they work to get there. Therefore, care for everyone, care for yourself, care for the Lord, care to pray, friends. May you have care. And when your children see that you're caring and loving, they too are going to be caring and loving. Parents, I am with tonight. Like Kant did, stop the fight in your home. Please stop the quarrels and have a caring, loving life in your home. There was a group of women who happened to go for a boat cruise. <laughs> Unfortunately, the boat sank. Oh, everybody died. So, there was one passenger who didn't go. So the investigators said, let us go to that home and speak to that one passenger who didn't go in the cruise. So when the investigators, investigators went to the home to see the lady who was supposed to die, she didn't go. God was in her favor. She saw the investigations, uh, investigators saw the daughter in law crying. So she said, Why it is that you're crying? Your mother in law is alive, isn't it? She said, I'm crying not because she didn't, I'm crying not because she, she, she didn't, I cry because she didn't go, she's supposed to go. <laughs> And because she didn't go, I'm crying. What caring daughter law is this? My dear friend, she's crying because the, the, the mother law didn't go and sing and die. You see, what kind of people we have in this world today? My dear friend, and these same people who take flowers and say, From the mother. And they pray so loudly. Friends, your action is your yajna. Please allow your actions to be very holy and to be very sacred, my dear friends. Tonight, as we come to an end, there are three reasons why the Lord came. One is to destroy the evil doers. One. Two, to love and bring all the holy people together so that they can love Him. And thirdly, so that all can come in oneness with the Lord, moksha, liberation. These are the three reasons why the Lord came to destroy the evildoers, 
to bring all the devotees together and love them and for them to love God. And thirdly, to allow the devotees to gain moksha, liberation, oneness with the Lord. And so saying that tonight, the reason for the avatar is coming from ma uh, from the divine to human, but mukti is when you go from human to oneness with God. That's the difference. An avatar is from God to man, but from man to God is called mukti, liberation, jivan mukta. So this is the message tonight. Let us gain that perfection so we too can strive for moksha liberation. Guru Vrindavan Bihari Lali Ki Jai. My dear friends, while the Havan will be in progress, I'd like to thank tonight Rishi and his entire family for having this yajna. And please, tomorrow evening, we'll finish on time. Please come again and tell your friends and families to come along. This time we have a lot of parking places, especially for those who are listening to us. We have three sets of parking places. We have one at the side of this home to my extreme right through the front gate. We have another parking place on the opposite of this home that is huge, as two. And of course, there's a little space inside here. When you come in right in, there's a space. So we have four different parking places also at the back. So if you can't get one park, you can try another. Like if you have one restaurant that is closed, try another one. So please, parking places are available to all of you. Let me say thanks to all of our kind sponsors for making this Yajna possible on the airwaves of Akash Bani to bring this Akash Shatpam, these divine songs to the airwaves of all devotees. Om 